Today, we're going to build an effective habit tracker inside of Notion. We're going to use some of the insights outlined in Charles Duhigg's book, The Power of Habit, and James Clear's book, Atomic Habits. The goal I gave myself was for a habit tracker that was really simple to maintain, but had the power of an advanced app. The habit tracker has a few different views built in. This video is outlined into the following sections. Number one, fundamental principles. Number two, tour of the habit tracker. Number three, the build. Fundamental principles are insights from Charles Duhigg and James Clear's books. So let's dive in. Let's look at some of the core principles Charles Duhigg highlighted in his book, The Power of Habit. If you analyze the anatomy of a habit, a habit is created through a loop, cue, routine, and reward. Cues are stimuli like sight, smell, taste, touch, sound, or thought. Routines are chain of thought and or actions. Rewards increase or decrease pleasant or unpleasant sensations, emotions, or thoughts. Repetition of routines triggers long-term changes to the brain. A secret ingredient to automaticity is willpower, strengthened significantly by rewards. James Clear elaborates that it takes a minimum of 66 days before a new behavior becomes automatic. I walk slowly, but I never walk backward. As you can see, habits are a process and not an event. They can be adapted very well into Notion. Now let's take a tour of the habit tracker. The habit tracker is set up to capture cues. When you recognize the need for a habit, you capture this by clicking on the blue new button and then on new habit. You will notice that the habit has a definite template asking you some questions about the habit. The idea is to make your cue stronger on the reasons why you want this so bad. At the time you opened up a new record, you will find that it stamps it with the cue date. At this time, you will need to enter the name of the habit in the first column called habit. Because you haven't really done anything with it, you will find that the progress shows up as 0%. I have added an additional field called gold status to indicate whether the project has started in progress, on hold or completed so that you can get the status at a glance. I have added a field called goal type. This is to indicate whether it's personal, work related, family related or a challenge. These are directly related back to your life pillars, which has its own view. When you start working on the habit, you will add the habit date into the habit dates column. So if you start today, you would enter today's date? That's correct, Jarvis. You need to enter three more fields. Habit days, which represents the number of days you need to carry this out to make it a habit. Habit period. This is the repetition number. If a habit has to be done every day, you enter one. If you can skip a maximum of one day as a cheat, you will not be held for it but then it's two. The last field is to capture any additional notes. It could be, say, notes if you are jumping off your habit goal, additional notes regarding a specific routine, or anything to say how far you've come down that goal. The habit ended is stamped calculating the number of days from the habit start date and adding the number of habit days to it. The habit status is either red or green. Green means you're okay, but red means that you need to give attention. There are three system messages configured as of now. One is for doing okay. The second is habit broken. And the third one is if you mention habit days lesser than reaching the desired 66 days for automaticity. Let's say you walk today. You can do one of the two things. You can go to the calendar view and drag the date into today and the habit dates column is updated automatically. Or if you go into habit dates, you can add today's date as the end date. You will notice that the habit status will change according to whether you're on track or not. Your progress bar will also update automatically and so will your system message. In the calendar view, you will notice that it has the habit status and the progress bar so that it's a quick at a glance view. 
Let's drag the diet by five days to complete the habit. Since the habit days are mentioned as five days, you will notice that the diet now shows two ticks and it's moved from the habit tracker table to the monthly awards table and shows you a message. Congratulations for a complete diet in July 2020. In the status view, you can see your habits by started, in progress, hold or completed. You can drag your habits into the on hold if there's an issue and you can continue from where you left off earlier. It will also show up in the archive view in the habits tracker table view. The habit tracker table is filtered to not complete and the monthly awards table is filtered to completed items. Pick one habit at a time to start. The highest number you'll find is changing three habits at once. You can choose to reward yourself if you keep up that habit and it shows up in the monthly rewards. Just to recap, this is what we set out to achieve. The tracker has six places to touch for a habit. Add a new record. Add the habit description. Add a goal status. Record the start date. Add the number of habit days to set the routine. And decide on the habit period. Making this pretty simple to set up, to maintain it every day. You just need to drag the habit progress in the calendar view by a day, till it's completed. The information on the cues inside the template, helps you capture cue very well. You should spend some time on this so that the chance of dropping out is minimized. We captured cues, routines and rewards. We highlighted whether the habit will get automated or not. The calendar view will help you walk slowly never backwards. And, the progress bar will motivate you to defend the effort you have already put in. Let's dive into the build. As with any of my builds, I have some hidden formula columns as well. These are elapsed days, awards, month, and a concat field that's called status bar. The elapsed days is the number of days between the start date and the end date, mentioned in the habit dates. The date between formula truncates both the beginning and the end dates, so we have to add back a day. Under awards, we program the table to acknowledge when the progress shows completed with the message congratulations for completing followed by the habit we captured and the month from the habit dates month shows the ending month of the habit dates with the year the status bar is a combination of habit status the progress shown as a progress bar and the end date of the habit for the calendar view and the status view now let's go to the visible fields the progress bar is a standard progress bar formula which I have elaborated in one of my earlier videos. You can see it here. Before you configure, just remember to start with the habit days and elapsed days as number properties before changing them back again after inserting the progress bar formula. The queue date is a created time property under advanced. The habit end date is designed to capture the habit dates if you start off the habit with one date and the end date when you progress through the habit. The habit status has a couple of conditions configured. If the habit days are empty, it shows a blank. If you've carried out the habit for the days that you have committed, then it shows a tick. If you've fallen behind the habit period, then it flags red. And lastly, if you have passed the habit end date and not completed the habit, then also it flags red. The system message has a few configurations. It's blank if the habit days are blank. It shows insufficient days to automate if the habit days are less than 66. It shows great going if the habit status is green. Else, it shows habit broken. Each new habit has been set up as a template so that when you click on the new blue button, the template also downloads in. The idea is to capture the information before you start the habit. If you want to know how to configure if statements, look up my other video on the topic shown here. After you complete the habit, you could just add this to your recurring task list to continue this journey. If you're unsure about how to set up a recurring task list, look at the video thumbnail that's flashing on the screen above to watch it. You will find all of our Notion videos in our playlist called How I Use Notion. Did you want something else in your habit tracker? Do comment below. If you're not yet part of this community, do consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the bell icon to stay notified of new videos. If you like the video, 
consider sharing it with your friends. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Peace.